Okay, morning folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Saturday the 25th. Uh, BBC Weather this morning said uh, yeah, it's been an exceptionally dry and warm month in September. And that's certainly true, but I think we are on the change. Um, looking at all these frontal systems uh, laying across the chart and certainly across the north of us. Uh, seems to be that by the time they they get towards us they've sort of become a weak feature and died out this is midnight with this warm front uh, that's coming down and, and last night you've got the typical late evening sort of wave clouds setting up in front of the approaching warm front and they looked actually quite spectacular uh, but that's dying out and uh, going to the south of us but we've still got a sort of cold front uh, lurking over here more of a cloud feature with odd um i think it's a light drizzle i, I drove in, in in sort of light drizzle this morning um, just because of the thickness of the cloud really the cloud depth um, but it's going to be slow to clear so, so slow gradual progression back uh, back to the north for this front uh, winds very very slack in this area with the isobars widely spaced apart so the TAFs uh, are sort of saying roughly what we think is going to happen this morning. Uh, Farnborough just light um, southerly flow for most of the day. Uh, at the moment broken at 600 feet probably is at Farnborough. It's a little bit lower here because we're slightly higher and tempo between seven and eight broken at 400 yet. That's probably what we've got uh, and sometime between nine and 12, it becomes scattered at 1600 feet. So slow clearance, various models um, disagree slightly on the timing. So I think it's sort of wait and see really. Uh, upper winds, again, uh, but not like there's this, this southerly flow 195 knots. It's not sort of picking up until you're at sort of 10,000 feet. It does get a little bit stronger. So gentle um, southerly drift, really, about all that's happening with the wind. Uh, sat pick shows uh, what I assume is the remnants of this dying front just laying across us and running through. You can you can see there's very, very slow clearance coming in from the south that will slowly creep up over us. Um, as the morning goes on uh, this afternoon, fingers crossed it should be okay. Uh, and temperatures, perhaps not as warm as yesterday, but 20 degrees, I think by late afternoon. The dew points uh, currently they're, they're quite high and they stay quite high for most of the day. Up around the th 13s, 14s at the moment. And the sounding really tells you most of what you need to know and Top Meteo just confirms it. Uh, this is the sort of nine, 10 o'clock sounding, lines are close together, just means low cloud uh, up to three or 4,000 feet. And as the morning goes along by one o'clock, the lines are beginning to come apart. So cloud breaking up, probably 1,000 to 1,500 feet in here. And by the afternoon, lines have come completely apart. It'll be blue and quite pleasant, hopefully. And Top Meteo are suggesting exactly the same. So this stuff is low cloud below 500 feet. Uh, that's 10 o'clock, 11, 12. Um, I think this, this model showing it a bit later than, than elsewhere. By one, two o'clock, it's cleared through. Uh, and should be quite a nice afternoon, blue, maybe bits of cumulus, um, but not very high. I think today and a, a nice late afternoon and evening. Uh, so we should get flying this afternoon in the evening group should be uh, um, certainly OK. So soaring, I think, is going to be very limited today. Not sort of go much above. Sort of they're talking about five six hundred meters so 15 to 200 to 2000 feet so pretty limited on the soaring front but should get flyable okay so airspace locally 
not really a lot going on at the moment. Uh, number three down here is Leon Solent. They've got a, a small air display um, at about 12 o'clock. So looking at the current conditions, it's unlikely that that's going to happen. Uh, number nine is middle wallop gliding. They note on that every weekend until the charts are changed. Number four is just Southampton's hours of operation, clay pigeon shooting. Number 10 near, near Boscombe Down and 11 Salisbury Plain Danger Area, no crossing service. Um, and the rest of us paragliding uh, activity in the round here and down here, folks. So not really a lot for us to worry about. Uh, I won't commit on how we would set up when the weather does clear um, sometime about late morning lunchtime. Uh, we'll work out what the wind's doing because various models are showing you know, slightly different directions but we'll try and stick on the main runway uh, if we can. And hopefully if you are here uh, meet up with your instructor do a bit of briefing and then We'll come and find you a little bit later this morning when we think it's worth getting the gliders out and getting ready. And then we'll see you out there.